Welcome to a best of roundup. Best fans under $18. Just because a fan is inexpensive does not mean it's cheap, because there could be some winners in terms of how they're made. Let's check it out. There may be fans in this video that uh, dedicated videos have not been produced for yet. Don't worry, they are coming out, but this will give you a good idea of the best of fans. We have the case simulation test. This is what size computer case do you plan on buying? Are you going to get a small form factor case? In which case, you're going to want to focus on the 6 inch mark. This is also a short throw distance, like you're putting the fans at the bottom of your computer case and you're blowing the air up towards your GPU, something along those lines. Or a case that is equivalent to basically having 120 millimeter class fan in terms of length. All this testing is assuming that your computer case is going to have a front to back airflow type design with an air cooler. Even if you're using a AIO or anything like that, or a custom loop, good airflow is still important throughout your case, so just kind of keep that in mind. The 9 inch mark, the 9 inch mark is like having 220 millimeters class fans in terms of the length of the computer case. Think a computer case that would hold a standard MATX or ATX motherboard and GPU that is the same length as the motherboard, but not really anything additional to that. So it gives you some idea of what kind of computer case you're taking a look at. If you're looking at mid towers, you're going to be looking around the 11 inch mark, holds 320 millimeters or a 360 AIO, something along those lines. You'd be focusing on that data mark. And the 14.5, and this is where you have the truly large towers like the Frock Design Torrent, uh, being able to hold 340 millimeter class fans. So I know there's a bunch of fans on here, so I'm going to try to point out the key ones that I really think are kind of the most important, but all these would be considered the top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fans that I've tested. Uh, so right here at the top, so the best of the 6, the 9, the 11 inch mark, is the TLS12W in my noise normalize testing. But notice as we hit the 14.5 inch mark, it's more the middle of the road when compared to the best of the best. While right here at this square red line, this is the P14 Max noise normalized. It's the best at the 14.5 inch mark, but it's, well, it's actually pretty well towards the top at the 11, but pretty middle, bottom middle actually, at the 6 and the 9. So you really do need to focus on what kind of computer case you actually really want to focus in on to know which fan is going to be most optimal for it. And again, this is for noise normalized results. Let's go ahead and jump to the 100% uh, PWM fan signal. Here, things change up. RPM does matter. Higher RPM is going to allow the fan to brute force its way to win, but the data points are important. So the tippy top best is the TLB12 Extreme, and it's across all data points. Not far behind it is the P12 Max. Uh, with the dual ball bearing. Then there's a pretty significant gap between it and the next best, and more or less tied is the Tough Fan 14 and the P14 Max. Towards the bottom end of this one, we have things like the P12 and what's this purple one? The TLS12. So it's not that they're bad fans, it's just that they don't spin as high in RPM, but of course the advantage of that is that they're going to be overall quieter. Now, noise versus airspeed. This was taken at the 9-inch mark because fans that tend to drop off in airspeed tend to drop off around the 9-inch mark, and I needed high enough air speeds to get accurate data, so that's why it's taken. So it's pretty obvious that in its RPM range, the TLS-12 is king of the pack, while the TLB-12 Extreme sits pretty well but it takes a while for it to get going and then finally surpasses it once RPMs and noise start really increasing. And mind, again, these are all the top picks in this price range. But the bottommost one here is the AF125, sitting right there. Same data, just taking a look at it in Sone, because Sone helps accentuate and really drag out higher noise levels where when things are relatively quiet, it kind of smushes them all together, while decibels tends to stretch everything. The lower noise levels stretch out more, while the higher noise levels tend to be more compacted. I have a whole piece about 
decibels versus sown if you're really interested, but it just helps drive home the relative noise difference between these fans, how the really noisy ones are really actually significantly noisier than, uh, well, where the TLS-12 uh, RPM ends. Now we're taking a look at performance through my CPU air cooler. It's the Noctua U12A. This is again in meters per second. So the tippy top, the very best in noise normal results is the Arctic P14 Max. Then we've got the P12 Max, and it was the fluid dynamic bearing one. Then we got the TLB12 Extreme, and then the Bionics P120, and then the P12. So here's the full list and how significant well, the difference is. And again, these are all noise normalized, so they all are producing the same amount of noise. How about at 100% PW fan signaling? Well, the P12 Max FDB is the very top of the graphs, moving 3.5 meters per second of air through my cooler at 31.4 decibels, spinning at 3,250 RPM. Not far behind it is the P14 Max. It's RPM and it's noise. It's a little bit quieter, but it's also not moving quite as much air. But if you're going to stick it on a larger radiator area, it uh, might be a better choice. Um, I should note at this time, I do have a radiator that I'm starting to do testing on. And what I'm finding right now is air speeds going through it are very similar, if not exactly the same as the air speed going through my CPU air cooler, the U12A. So at this time, I'm calling the results equivalent, but I also don't have a large enough data set on it yet. I haven't retested all the fans on it yet. It's just kind of rolling as we're as we're doing things. But here are the different fans and how they perform. So if you have some of these fans, it gives you a good idea of how it ranks. And of course, we need airspeed versus noise. First one is in decibels, and these are the top picks. So the very top is the P14 max at most RPMs until things start getting really high RPM, in which case it kind of falls behind just a little bit, not too far, the P12 max. And this diamond one is the P TLB12 Extreme, doing really quite well. And this red diamond one, square one, is the P12 max. So it's really strenuous stuff. And in here we also have P12 Max dual ball bearing. At the bottom end, we got the Tau Fan 14. You know, it's doing just fine. Same graph, just looking at in sewn, gives you much better uh, perspective on the actual noise difference as uh, things get noisier, how it stretches way out and gets actually significantly noisier while deep decibels kind of hides it a little bit. Now we're on to the value. Which fans in this category have the best? value. So the, in the case simulation test, 6 inch mark, short distances, the value, the best is the TLC12C uh, S. Then we got the TLE12B Extreme, TLS12, TLG12, and you can kind of go down the list how far, however far you want. For the 11 inch mark, mid tower type cases, the TLS12 is the king. Then the TLE12B, TLC12, TLG12. So if you're not sure what kind of computer case you want to get, you're going to want to get one that fits the widest spectrum of computer cases. Um, and also this helps with like future planning, future builds, assuming these fans last that long. That is something I cannot do in my current revision of testing is longevity. And... Uh, with help from Patreon and becoming YouTube members, I hope to be able to roll that kind of testing into my channel in the future. Now taking a look at value proposition through my CPU air cooler. First up is noise normalized here on the left side, TLC12, then the TLE12B, TLS12. Are, I think we're seeing a bunch of repeat fans on here, TLG12. So a lot of fans that are great value in case airflow are also great value for your cooler. At 100% PDOM fan signaling, we got the TLC12 again, TLB12B, TLB12 Max, P14 Max. You get the idea. So they hold up really quite well. And that brings me to the end of my video. I like to show off the raw data. So ranking in descending order. And the next one, uh, cooler, noise normalized, it's 
ascending, so from bottom to top. At 100%, it's from bottom to top. For the case airflows, it's from top to bottom, so 1 to 28. And these are the best of best, how they ranked, and the airspeed values. Um, if you like the content that I'm creating, I really hope you would crush a like and, uh, and hit that subscribe button. I'd also really appreciate it if you would consider joining me as a Patreon or a YouTube member. This is a free channel, meaning everything that you're seeing tested is out of my time, my own expense. I've got no sponsors or anything like that. So having that sort of, it's not really revenue, it's like compensation, I guess, I don't know, uh, really does go a long way in helping make this channel more sustainable, which is kind of my end goal is really to just to get this channel sustainable. Um, other than that, if you've got suggestions for fans you would like me to take a look at next time I'm in my buying cycle, please leave that in the comment section down below. I'll look at uh, purchasing it for testing. Other than that, I hope, to, hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time here on Computer Tech and More.